What's up, y'all? This is Michael Lowe, and I'm back with another track and field video. Today, I want to ask this question. Is Allison Felix the greatest American Olympic sprinter of all time? We can say Flo Jo. We can say uh, Marion Jones. She She's drama, blah, blah, blah. We can say Marion Jones. We can say this. We can say that. There's going to be Jack or Jackie joining Kersey. She did a lot of events. Um, but is Allison Felix the greatest Olympic runner or sprinter of all time. She set a record at this year Olympics, at this year's Olympics, 35 years old, she collected her 11th Olympic medal. They're not all gold, but she has 11 Olympic medals, and that is an American record for the most in track and field. Michael Phelps, you know, he he killed the game in swimming. Usain Bolt, he did his thing over for Jamaica. But in America, Allison Felix has more gold medals than any other runner and most likely any other athlete or any other Olympian of all time. So we have to ask, is she the GOAT Olympian for the United States for track and field? Her career started back in high school. Allison is from the state of California, and in my opinion, the best runners come from Florida, California, and Texas. Now, there's great runners all over. I live in the state of Washington. We have amazing, great, talented runners. There's great runners in Georgia and Mississippi all over, but California Texas and Florida somehow maybe it's just the size of the state and just having more people there or it could be the weather and they supply in my opinion the best track and field athletes especially on the sprint side the story goes Allison joined her track team at her high school she was a skinny tall girl ninth grader like think about being 13, 14, 15 years old, just a skinny tall girl. She joined her high school track team and by the state championships, she goes from, you know, just kind of starting, probably playing around to she's in the California state championship final and she gets fifth place. Now, once again, I'm going to let you know, California is one of the most dominant and hardest places to really place at state. Um, in the United States, California, Texas, Florida, Georgia, blah, blah, blah. She got fifth her freshman year. From there, she would go on and run in the World Youth Championships and just continue to develop over the next few years and wind up in the Olympic trials at just 18 years old. And that was my introduction to Allison. The first time I ever seen her is the first time I is when I really got into track and field. Back in 2004, I'm seeing her, I'm seeing Justin Gatlin and all these, you know, people, Sean Crawford, all these new fresh runners running in the Olympic trials. Allison goes, I remember this video. And at 18 years old, she wins the trials to move on to Olympics. At this time, she was just doing the 200. Um, you know, well, she was focusing on that. She didn't really run the one. She didn't really run the four. She mostly was competing at the 200 meter dash. And in that 2004 Olympics, at just 18 years old, she goes on to win a silver silver medal behind Veronica Brown of Jamaica. So she, in that first year of really being a pro, of really stepping out there, she goes, wins the U.S. trials, and gets a silver at the Olympics. She continues to compete over the next few years. You know, she does the world championships, just other meets. She's on the pro scene, and she's really dominating, which takes her into the 2008 Olympics. At the 2008 Olympics, it's essentially the same story. Um, she goes, she's only on the, she runs the 200, and she runs the 4x4. And the 2000, in the 200, the same thing happens. She loses to the same person, Veronica Campbell Brown. 2004 Olympics back in Greece, she ran a 22 18. 
Uh, four years later, she proves she breaks the 22 barrier at the Olympics and runs a 21.93, but she takes silver again, and she gets a gold on that 4x4. Four four. It was really her kind of stepping out there and showing her range. She's always done all the events. You know, she's always done the one, the two in her youth, but at a, as a pro, we really saw her mostly in the two for a couple years, and then she started to show her range. She she shows, okay, I'm going to be on that 4x4. Four four. Same thing. She goes through the World Championship. She's winning at the World Championship. She's at the World Championship. She's that girl. But at the Olympics, you know, it, it's just not there yet. And we go over to London. She gets, she, she runs the one and the two in London. And she really comes into her form. After eight years, she goes and she wins the 200 meter dash. She wins the four by one, or she's on the four by one uh, Olympic record team, as well as the four by four, and she places fifth in the hundred. So she truly shows her range of being a sprinter. Like she's on the four, she's in the 100, she's in the 200, and she's on the four by four. So she shows her range altogether. Carl Lewis, he didn't really do that. You know, Carl Lewis was the one, the two, the long jump. So I guess he showed his athleticism and his range. Um, and, you know, same with Flojo. But I feel like one to four is just a little different. Just kind of shows, like, I am willing to run and I can run. Boom. The path continues over to Rio. She leaves the two. She is now in the four. She's like, these young girls. She, these young girls are, are at me, so I'm going to be done with the two. I'm going to move up to four. It's a longer distance, more time to run, more time to use that stride of hers. And at Rio, she gets first again in the 4 by one first in the 4 by 4 and second in the 400 meters. Like I said, she's done with two. So those, those relay medals, her ability to run the one and then to run the four is really what's helping her collect these medals. Because she's getting them in the relays. Boom, same things. World Championships. She's doing great. She's just getting older. And she's been on the scene for so many years. She started in 2004. We're now at 2016. And she's still out there. And that leads us up to now. The 2021 Tokyo Olympic Games. Allison gets third place in the 400 to take the bronze medal. She set a master's um, association record. For those of you who don't know, master's starts at age 35. There's like, you know, master's running. She set a world re or a record in that with the time of 49.46. And then she collected her 11th medal and a gold medal in the women's 4x4 with a 316.85 to take that goal. That was just a great team with her, Sydney McLaughlin, um, Dalila Muhammad, and I'm forgetting the other young lady's name. So she got her 11 medals. One thing that someone could make an argument for is that she doesn't have a lot of records because she, from what I'm seeing, she has two records. She has the world record um, and she has the Olympic and world record on the four by one. That's a team. And then she has that master's world record at 400 meters, the 35 and up. Um, and I'm sure she has some American records, but she doesn't have a lot of like world records or Olympic records. You know, Jackie Joyner, or not Jackie Joyner, but Flo Jo has the uh, 100 and the 200 and all that. So she doesn't have a lot of records. But other than that, she got those medals. She has more than anyone else. Um yeah. So is Allison the greatest of all time? What would you consider her? She's moving on. We don't know if she's done running like she's 35 years old. That's a that's you know, that's up there. So it's not likely that she would make another Olympics, depending on what she runs in four years or three years, depending on how she how the Olympic Committee does it, it's not very likely that she'll be involved in another Olympics. But, you know, who knows? I don't want to count her out. She, 
she can do whatever. We've seen Justin Gatlin. He didn't make it to this one, but he was very competitive at old age. And 39 years old, Justin Gatlin was out there and he was killing it. Allison has moved on or she's starting other business ventures and other things to make money other than running or coaching. Uh, as you know, or as you most likely know, she was signed to Nike. Nike reduced her contract and uh, she essentially was dropped or she left Nike. She didn't want to re-up on her contract and she started her own shoe company called Seish. Um, she has a lifestyle sneaker coming out, and I'm sure as it goes, she's going to progress into like running shoes, track shoes, as well as running track athletic apparel for all the ladies out there. So she's, you know, she's really using her influence, her mind and all that uh, for to set her up for the next years. Um, but overall, we might be seeing the end of a great, amazing track and field career. So what do you guys think? Do you think that she should be finished? Should she continue to run maybe a few more seasons? Would you like to see her in another Olympics in four years? Could she be on the 4x4 still and, and gain another medal or maybe two medals? Like, what do you guys think? Because... It, it's rough. She's done it for almost 20 years professionally. Like if she gets to 2024, that and that's the Paris Olympics, you know, unless they push it back. But if it, they just simply keep it at this schedule, the Paris Olympics is in 2024. And that would be uh, 20 years of Olympic and professional running for Allison Felix. I've never seen anything like that. If you know of anyone who has done it that long, done any sport at an Olympic level that long, please let me know because I would love to see that. But do you think she could come back? Should she come back? If so, what event could she do? Would it just be relay? Would it be the open? You know, how's it going? She has a baby now. Uh, she has just family. Like she's getting older. She's growing more mature. And she's going to have a, a big brand to run. So what should she do? And also, is she the greatest of all time? I'm going to say, I'm going to step out on a limb here and say that Allison Felix is the greatest American sprinter of all time because she does have the most medals and she showed the most range. I know she didn't like do a field event like Carl Lewis. He did the one, two and the long and the four by one. Um, but she really just had that range that took her from 100 meters to 400 meters and just had her in so many events and so many relays. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Is this the end? Should she do more? And that's all. I hope you guys have a great day. This is Michael O. If you like content like this, subscribe to my channel. Peace.